Okay, hi guys, it's Alicia here from AliciaDrum.com and Start Business Info. I am here to show you today on how to set up your Facebook Pixel. Okay, so I'm in my Ads Manager. If you don't already have an Ads Manager account, you need to have a Facebook page and in the little uh, drop down menu, usually up the top in your Facebook account, is a Hi guys, it's Alicia here from AliciaDeJong.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Facebook Pixel. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go into your Ads Manager. If you haven't already got an Ads account, then you need to go and set that up. That's in a different training. But today you need to go into, into this little arrow from your page and go Manage Ads. Okay, you need to go up to Facebook Ads, Ads Manager, Then you need to select the account that you want. So I have an account here, Social Media Marketing 2. And this is a brand new account, so it's just got to prepare the new account. And I need to go up to Ads Manager and I need to create my pixel. Go All Tools, go across to Assets, Pixels. excuse me, create a pixel. So a pixel is basically a piece of code that you can put on any landing page or any in any header, on a, uh, a blog post or in your website, wherever it is that you want to track the traffic that's hitting that page. Okay, so you only get one pixel and there's di various different elements that you can add to the pixel but in this training I'm just going to keep with the standard pixel because that's really what you need just when you're starting out. Okay so now I'm just going to go next. Great. Okay. What I want to actually do is I want to manually install the code myself. So I click this one. And I want to copy the entire pixel code and paste it inside the website header. So I'm going to go copy code. And then I am going to say go over to a click funnel landing page. Okay, so in ClickFunnels, I have to add it into my header. If you had a blog, you would also add it to your header. And depending on what platform of your blog that you're using to where you find your header, that's a completely different training. In WordPress, it's fairly easy to find. You can just go into Appearance, Header, and then you can add it in there. You can also add in, uh, have Pixel Caffeine as a, which is associated with Ad Espresso. You can also add it into there and you can um, create custom audience and conversions that way, okay? But in a, a landing page website, as in ClickFunnels, you would, as an example, you could be using lead pages, you could be using Maybe your platform that you're associated with has a landing page uh, platform. Also, just add it into your header. So if I want to add it to this particular landing page, I would click on it, go edit. And I want to go up to settings and I want to go tracking code. And then that's where I would paste it. Normally this would have nothing there, so I could delete all that. And just to give you the example, go right click, paste. There's my code, get out, save, and away you go. So back over in Ads Manager, there's one more thing that you need to do. What I need to do is I need to go back to my ClickFunnel page. I want to track all the traffic that comes to this particular website, okay? So I need to right click that and copy it. 
go to my ads manager. I'm going to get out of there and I'm just going to be done. Okay. So now what I want to do is I need to curate an audience. So I need to go create audience. Otherwise the pixel really is just, I need to connect basically Facebook pixel to the landing page or the blog post. So you do that by curating the audience and adding the URL in. So in this one, I would go all website visitors, go down people who visited a specific web page, right click, paste, put in my website where I've just pasted that pixel audience name. I'll just call it rookie and click funnel and then go create audience. Okay. And done. That's a really basic showdown of what, how to create a Facebook pixel, where to add it and how you can start tracking using your Facebook pixel. When I get some activity, cause this is a brand new pixel, I'll get some more, you know, activity in here. I will also get some information in here and in here and my little red light here will turn green. Okay. That's how we set up a Facebook pixel. Bye for now.